<laughs> Hi, Steve at six, but it's the Steve and Hugo show. Yes, it is, because Hugo fancies joining in today. Now, I feel so much better. I've had a difficult week, but I know you do too. There does come a day when you do feel better, and the day after you feel better again. Now, that's what happened to me. I've actually got a bit of sleep last night. First time in ages. Well, you don't want to hear about me or Hugo Perno over here. Go on, put for the people. Because Blinder Gwent matters to me. And I know Blinder Gwent matters to you, too. Today is the day that everybody will be told who has won the St. David's Day charity donation of £100. Now, three different organisations will benefit. Those three organisations are Marie Allen Brown, for Blind and Gwent Homeless, Albert Tulare, Blind and Gwent Rugby Club, to complete the bar under the stand with disabled facilities, and the third is Six Bells Park People, I don't know, the other group that basically put themselves out in Six Bells Park, a better place for people to be. And when I lived in Abbasalari, Six Bells was a place that nobody considered. And it's about time we had some facilities for everybody. I mean, hmm. So, here we are. Get in. Six new tents last week for the homeless of Blyna Gwent I bought for Rihanna Brown. She's great, great for any other tents or sleeping bags this cold weather you have in the Abilene Blind Gwent area. She's desperate for them. There are uh, 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 unbelievably people sleeping on the streets in the valley. So, oh, so they've had six new tents. But the hundred pounds cash, and I hope the person who's the treasurer or the organizer. <laughs> Is Six Bells Community Park Association because they backed themselves and loads of people voted for them. There is a so, treasurer. Message me. Tell me your bank details. A hundred pounds will be going in there for you to spend on. I would like daffodils. I love flowers. I love palm trees. Now the third group Absolutely Blind and Gwent Rugby Club, for whom I actually never played. I played on Ivory Park many times, and when I was 10, 8, 9, 10, 11, I used to go down to the park on a Saturday afternoon with my mates and, and watch out there, even stamp in at the back of the stand with our feet to make more noise, as the likes of, I think, Martin Cook and, and company were on the committee at the front in front of us. And I, there was a telephone for a news, uh, the press, as it were. Those are the days. I don't know if they still have it. But I've offered to try with the help of Blinding Gwent Matters people and Abbott Larry group members. That's about, well, I don't know, 3,000 3, 4, people. I am going to attempt what I did last year and to walk one mile in one week. Now... I haven't walked a mile over the last three, four months. I fractured my spine to bore you all in 2006. I got bad, I got diabetic problems. My teeth are falling out. You might know this year, actually. People wondered what that is. That is diabetes. Your teeth fall out. <laughs> you do. My your eyes get affected. I won't go into it now because it is distressing. If you've got it, I understand. But if you suspect you've got it, see your doctor. So, with the help of Abbott Leary, Blind and Gwent, I shall hope to raise a thousand pounds to ensure there's disabled facilities in the bar and lounge underneath their stand. 
no, Hugo's had enough. He's off. <laughs> yeah, Hugo, yeah. There we go. Sit down by there, little chap. There's his tail. And if I go like that, do you think I look like Quarrel? No, Quarrel? No. <laughs> so there you have it. That's the news that you've been waiting for. I shall share this around various platforms. And I now feel up to hopefully being alive at six every day next week. And we'll discuss many and various things. Cleaning up rubbish is, is a main thing. Um, we try. I'm trying to quietly through the week on a team from Aberbeeg, Abertillery, and Cum Stroke Vale to tidy up the side the side of the road next to uh, the road between Aberbeeg and Cum. Apparently, as I've seen it, shocking. I mean, it is shocking. We will overcome. Pass this around, get your friends in Brian and Gwent Matters to join, if they live in Brian and Gwent. Pass this, share this over around to them, and just show that what can be done with just one small voice. That's me. Well, not small, actually, for six foot four. And, no, no, sorry, six foot three. So there are four, four operations on my back, and they cut me, they cut me from six foot four to six foot three. But there you have it. And 14 and a half stone, I would make a bloody good centre at the moment, though unfortunately I can't run, and walking is a bit of a trial, it's painful to walk. But I shall be walking a mile in one week on my electric walking machine. Doesn't make it any easier, because I get out of breath making a cup of tea. So we'll see how that goes. I've said enough. Blind and Gwent matters to me, and I know Blind and Gwent matters to you. So... I'll back you up if you back me up and we'll get that place a better place to live like it was when I lived there in the 70s. Happy Valentine's Day to those that could have one, but a happy Sunday to those that couldn't. Your pleasure.